Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the May 2024 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. I cannot believe we're talking about May already. Totally mind-blowing. But anyways, as always, my readings are going to be very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do have a recommend you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising, just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's get into it here. Column number one, we're going to take a look at any big messages coming for the month of May. Column number two, we're going to talk about anything related to money. Column number three, we're going to talk about anything related to love. And column number four, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides, which is almost like advice for the month. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note here for you, Aquarius. Well, let's get to it. Again, column number one is any big messages coming for the month of May. We have the card magnetism. What a strong, strong, strong way to kick off this reading here. Um, so this is similar to like manifesting, uh, praying, hoping, whatever we want to call it here. But it's really this ability to attract things to ourselves through our thoughts. So what you're thinking is what you're going to receive. You're very magnetic this month. You're really attracting a lot to you. So make sure that we are thinking positively and attracting the correct things to ourselves. But let's go and see what messages we've got here. Okay, first time we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. In this case, this is new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. So definitely some very strong love energy, some new love coming in for you right off the bat here, Aquarius. The next card we have is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a card of being very strategic, very intentional. I feel like there's something you want long term and we need to be thinking about this very long term. Again, what we're thinking is what we're attracting to ourselves here. And at the bottom we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card of patience, delays. Uh, I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. This new love is what you've been waiting for. To be able to make this big long term move is what you've been waiting for. You've been attracting these things to yourself. Uh, this is also like planned, so I feel like you've been planning for all of these things and now they're finally coming true, which is really neat to see. So love this for you. Starting off again really strong here, Aquarius. Here my first reading of May. I hope I have all fabulous readings like this. Taking a look at our next, or excuse me, looking at our clarifiers here. First up we have the Three of Cups. This is a card of like circle of support. So this new love, it's very supportive. Again, it's exactly what we want. Uh, with the Three of Cups, this is also like a celebration card. So we're celebrating because again, this is what we want. Maybe we're finding out we're pregnant. Maybe we're entering into a new relationship. Maybe there's an engagement or a marriage, the celebration behind that. Um, but again, very well supported here, but also like celebrating because this is exactly what we've been hoping for. The next card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Again, anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This is typically new job, raise, promotion, investment. Um, so think about money long term. Think about career long term, and that's the move we're making. Maybe you're buying a house. Maybe you went back to school. Maybe you um, got the promotion, went for the job that you've always wanted. But it does look twofold. I feel like there's new love and new money happening here. Again, both things that we've really wanted. At the bottom we have the Empress. I'm not surprised to see this. This is like getting what you want. This is you getting what you want here. The Empress is very abundant. It's a card of creation. Again, what you th are thinking is what you're attracting, so that's what you're creating. But there's this nice abundance of love. A great relationship card, a great fertility card. Uh, so a nice card to uh, wrap up that column there for us. So. Really nice May. Can I come live with you, Aquarius? I feel like you've got it all going on for the month of May. Taking a look at our next column now. Oops, sorry. Taking a look at our next column now, we're going to talk about anything related to money. So a quick money message for you. Money is a tool I choose to use to build the life of my dreams. I think you are well on your way to building the life of your dreams this month, which I love to see. But let's see what other money messages we've got here. We already had a great money card, our Ace of Pentacles in that first column. 
But to kick us off at the top, we have the Wheel of Fortune. If you've listened to my readings before, you know I love the Wheel of Fortune. It's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. It's a card of good luck. It's a card of good fortune. It's a great money card. And it's really a turning point here. Again, I do think some of you are making big financial moves. Maybe you switch jobs. So we're really at like a turning, at a nice shift here. At the bottom, we have the six of, or excuse, the middle here, we have the six of swords. This is a card of going through a necessary transition. The timing is impeccable on this. So I love to see it. You see this forward, positive direction. I do think a lot of you are buying houses because the Six of Swords is like a moving card. So of course you're going to be moving into your new house, which is so, so exciting. Sorry, I just bumped the camera there. Um, but yeah, some moving energy here. But again, the timing is great. This is like saying, yes, this is the time. I like how all these have come together. And at the bottom, we have the Sun card. The Sun card is a card of material happiness, joy, success. It is all good things with the Sun card, so I love to see this. Arguably the best card in the entire deck, so career-wise, financially-wise, tip-top shape, really happy, really feeling good about where we're at and what we're doing. Taking a look at our clarifiers, first up we have the Six of Pentacles. This is patience, this is delayed success. Again, this is exactly what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this turn of events. You've been waiting for this good fortune, this good luck, this shifting point. The next card we have is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of action and change, typically very quickly here. We could be finding out news as well. So like, of course, finding out you got the job or your offer on the house got accepted. Uh, but this is again, this kind of change, this kind of shift that we've talked about with a couple other cards in this column. Last but not least, we have the Four of Cups. I love this for two reasons. So this fourth cup here is like gift. Um, and I feel like we're receiving here. Again, I feel like some of us are getting a house or getting a new job. So we're on the receiving end. These are coming as gifts. They're coming as blessings, right? Another meaning of this card, it's like apathy or lack of fulfillment. So for those of you that weren't feeling so great, to have a card as strong as the sun, again, arguably the best card in the entire deck, um, it's just amazing to see. So with the sun card, material happiness, joy, success, um, quite literally the opposite of the four of cups where potentially there was like a discontentment, lack of fulfillment, apathy happening there. All right. This is fabulous. I hope it all continues to be fabulous. We're starting off really strong again, like I said here. So excited for your month of May. Moving on to our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to love. So we have a, a quick love message here for you. It says, friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Well, love is, our uh, friendships are important too. But let's see what messages we've got here. Okay, first up we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a family and friend card. We already had the friendship affirmation card. So just go out there and do it. Be with friends, be with, fr be with friends, be with family, be with loved ones. I do feel like there's some sort of celebration, like where if you see this looks like a finish line, I feel like something's being complete, something's happening, and we're going out and celebrating. But really just enjoy that time with family and friends. The next card that we have is the Temperance card. The Temperance card is a card of balance and harmony. Um, I just feel like we're in a quieter time. This is also a card of moderation. So maybe your schedule recently, Aquarius, has been really wicky-wacky. Maybe you've been super busy. Maybe you haven't had any free time. So I love the card like Temperance. I'm hearing like you have the time to go and enjoy your friends and family, and you should. So there's this nice sense of calm, this nice sense of balance and harmony. So it's like we have the time to really truly go out and enjoy our friends and celebrate. At the bottom we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, this can be like rivalry, this can be challenges. That doesn't feel what I'm feeling though. Another meaning behind this card is like sport. Uh, it's going out, it's being physical, it's being active. Again, I do feel like you're going to be out and about, but furthermore this might be like a sport. like. You could be playing dodgeball, you could be going for a run, going for, out for yoga, something of that sort. So it feels like physical activity as well. Maybe you're going hiking together, something like that. Let's take a look now at our 
clarifiers here. First up we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, you see how quickly this horse and rider are moving. This is a fast, fast, fast card. Um, a couple different things here. Again, I feel like we are going into this change where we have time to do things and that's coming on quickly. So again, we have the Temperance card. Before, maybe you were too busy, things were moving too fast, you didn't have time to celebrate, you didn't have time for friends and family. So I love that this is happening. This is like the change that's now allowing you to do these things. I will say though, I feel like the month is gonna fly by because you have a lot of plans. You're gonna be out doing a lot of things. So it is balanced, but it's going to fly by, if that makes sense. The next card we have is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is like a competition. Um, again, I feel like things were competing for your time. We were having to fight for time. We didn't have enough time. So I feel like this is balanced out. Again, I feel like we had conflicting priorities. We had overlapping events, overlapping invites. I just feel like you were, there was a lot of competition for your time. Um, that seems like that'll settle for these next few weeks so we can go out and enjoy it. Again, I still think it's going to fly by because there's a lot, but at least it's not like you have to decide one thing or the other. At the bottom we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is a work smarter, not harder type card, but this is also a card of enjoying. So again, go out and enjoy. Go out and do things that we enjoy. Find a hobby, find a sport that we enjoy that we can do with our friends. So again, if it's hiking, if it's yoga, if it's dodgeball, whatever it may be. Um, but the key here is to do something that we enjoy. It does feel physical. Um, both cards are showing that kind of physical effort. All right, moving on to our fourth and final column, a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the summary affirmation card of moderation. One of my favorites in the deck. Growing up, my parents always told me, Moderation is the key to success. So you'll hear me say that a lot because moderation is so important to accomplish the things that we want. Um, it's all about that 80-20, that fine balance a little bit here and there. It's okay to stay up late one night a week, but don't make a habit of it. It's okay to have a uh, fast food, but don't make a habit of it. It's okay to play video games, but in that kind of moderation. So whatever you're trying to accomplish, moderation is really gonna help you get there. It doesn't have to be 100% all the time. It's more like that 80-20 balance. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what cards we've got going on here. So keeping in mind moderation is key to accomplish what you want to accomplish here, Aquarius. We have the 10 of wands. This is a card of stress, exhaust, too many burdens. I do think in some cases I feel like you're trying to do too many things at once. Or again, I feel like we're at 100%. Let's say you want to get fit for summer, but now you're going to the gym every day, twice a day seven days a week and you are of course exhausted you're burnt out so i feel like there needs to be a little bit of balance here there needs to be a little bit less on your plate so i am feeling like we're burnt out i feel like we're exhausted i feel like we're doing too much or we're going too hard on something the next card we have is the king of cups this is very much so being able to ride the waves it's tolerant it's empathetic i just feel like there's too many other things happening in life that we can't be 100% right this is saying well things pop up there's waves there's things that you don't see and it's so like right now we're too tight we're not giving ourselves the ability to ride the waves so we need a little bit more flexibility here that's what the king of cups is telling us at the bottom we have the six of cups the six of cups is a gift card that's what this card is like a card of gifts I feel like you can still receive what you want you can still get what you want when you do moderation. So again, we don't have to be turned all the way up. We don't have to go 110% to get there, right? Looking at our clarifiers, we have the sun card. We already talked about this, best card in the entire tarot deck. Make sure we're enjoying the process. You're of course going to be successful, so I love to see this. We can be successful without you going so hard, going all in on this, right? But we need to enjoy the process. We need to have some happiness, need to have some joy there. The next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. This is about being resourceful with our resources. This is how you spend your time, your energy, your money. It's great that we're doing this, but again, we need some flexibility because there's other things happening around us. And at the bottom here, we have the Knight of Cups. 
This is like Prince or Princess Charming. It's very romantic. It's very proposal-like. This is also very much so card of opportunity though. And again, I feel like the opportunity is still here. You're still going to get what you want. We don't have to be so strict. We don't have to go so hard. So be thinking about moderation. I feel like you're pushing yourself a smidge too hard here. That's really the underlying message. All right, at this time, I'm gonna give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're gonna use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video here and think of them. Question number one, we have the two of spades. Number 34 card, that's gonna be a yes. Question number two, we have the eight of hearts. Number 36 card, that's going to be a no. And question number three, we have the 10 of clubs. Number 35 card, that's gonna be a no. So yes, no, no there for you. We're also gonna pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of May. You have Dolomite, which is great for grounding, endurance, keeps you very authentic, gives you trust, stability, and it's also very playful. Last but not least, we're gonna pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Note says, surround yourself with people who make you hungry for life touch your heart and nourish your soul. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, follow. All of those help me greatly as I'm trying to grow my channel. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much Aquarius and I hope you have a wonderful May.